Good evening YouTube and welcome to The Metal Collector. This video will be a little bit special, hang in and I'll tell more about it. Welcome to The Metal Collector. Um, it's Saturday night, I just got home from uh, some birthday party with some family and I have seen uh, this uh, other collector here on YouTube, Christian uh, Grillard is his name, he's doing some, some cool videos also with his collection and he has just got 100 subscribers. So he's doing this contest giveaway, call it what you want, uh, where he wants you to participate where you can, uh, you, the, the rules are simple, write in the comment section what you find as some of the best opening tunes of albums and um, or do a video. Uh, so yeah, that was it, or do a video. And I have chosen to, to do this video, try to combine it a little bit with uh, not my favorite opening tracks of all time because I just uh, came home and I took a quick uh, round in my collection and I found a bunch of albums where I think the opening tracks are monster and uh, this is my answer video for Grillot's contest. So let's get down to uh, the stuff and um, there will be a lot of classic ones in between but again it's just great songs. The first one I found was the title track from Painkiller, you know, Painkiller. Judas Priest Painkiller album is one of the greatest albums of all time. It's one of the best heavy metal albums, if not the best heavy metal album. And um, the title track, not so much to say, it is one classic. They still play it uh, almost every time they play it and, and people want it, they love it. Uh, it's timeless and it has energy. The songwriting of the song is, you know, the whole structure, it's, it's just brilliant. That is one hell of an opening song. Um, if I had to do a top list one time, I would probably put Painkiller on because it's just great. The next one, Iron Maiden from Power Slave, Aces High. For me, Aces, uh, Aces High is uh, together with Phantom of the Opera. I think those two songs are my favorite songs uh, with Iron Maiden of all time. And Aces I I can I have listened to that song countless of times and I can still hear it and, and get goosebumps uh, different places on the song. Great opening song. The best opening song of Iron Maiden in the whole catalog, in my opinion. <coughs> I'll just take a sip of my Danish beer and move along. Also Danish Merciful Fate from uh, the second album, Don't Break the Oath, A Dangerous Meeting. Now, I'll not debate whether uh, whether this is my favorite or it is Melissa. I, those two albums, I think they're equally great and I love both albums. But as opening track, I think A Dangerous Meeting is one of the best songs ever. And it just tells you what to expect from this. It's just great. Next one. <laughs> Testament from the debut album, The Legacy, Over the Walls. Um, I have to do something about these mirror reflections all the time. I think you can see something here. Yeah, <laughs> something. Um, for me, this is the best Testament album the debut. They have released so many great albums uh, after this, of course, and I have a lot of them, but this is still my favorite album. And Over the Walls are my favorite song with Testament. They <laughs> they started out by doing opening the debut album with the greatest songs in their catalog, so that's something. Over the Wall, love that song. Also one of the greatest fresh themes of all time. Morbid Angel, from their debut, Altars of Madness, Immortal Rides. One, Hell of an Opener, uh, again, my, my favorite song with the Morbid Angel, also the first song from the first album. Not to say that is uh, 
I wouldn't call it my trademark, but again, there is something about debut albums. They are often really great, and especially the opening tracks. So, great album. And wonderful opening tune, So Evil. Now, the next one, I would bet my ass, this will probably be on all fresh metal hits. Uh, if you have to talk about opening songs from albums, uh, Slayer's Angel of Death from Rain and Blood. <laughs> so much to say, it's it's pure aggression from from the very beginning and one of the greatest opening songs ever. The next one, Machine Head and Davidian from their debut album, Burn My Eyes. Um, I think Machine Head, you, again, this video is not about debating about bands. It's just about this first song. But I would say this is the greatest Machine Head album, in my opinion. And they have never overdone this. They have never created an album that could uh, match this. But... For the Asses of Empires was uh, one very, in my ears again, one brilliant album, and I think it's the closest they got to uh, do something just as great as, as this. This is, in my eyes and ears uh, and everything, a masterpiece. And Davidian, I love that song. One of the most brutal songs ever. Here comes Deerside, Once Upon the Cross, and the title track, of course. My favorite death metal band and my favorite death metal album, Once Upon the Cross, and the opening song, the title track. Yeah, just great. Now we're moving on to a doom metal album, My Dying Bride, The Angel and the Dark River, and The Cry of Mankind. This is, again, one of the greatest albums of all time. Um, I often discuss whether this should be uh, on my spot, number one as being the best my dying bride album or it should be turn loose the swans i love both albums but i have a very nostalgic relationship with turn loose the swans um because it was my first album i got with them and um it's very dark this is a little bit more melodic where turn loose the swans is a bit more yeah, it's, it's just darkness but both albums are great and i i would say it's it's like a brother and sister albums those two but the cry of mankind it yeah it's the greatest but i'm bright song of all time and one hell of a beginning of a doom metal album now more fresh of course forbidden and chalice of blood from their debut album forbidden evil again a debut album i love that song and again one great album forbidden evil and Russ, his vocals, just the blood! He's up there, man, and it's, it's, oh, I love it. I think this will be <clears throat> on my playlist tonight, just when I'm done with this video. Here comes good old Ozzy Osbourne and Bog at the Moon. Now, if we are, I think one day I'll do uh, a top 10 list with Ozzy Osbourne albums, and this will probably no it, it i'm for sure this will be on my top spot this album is my favorite Ozzy osborne album i love this album and i still think that what randy rhodes did on the first two yeah i agree with all randy rhodes fans and Ozzy fans those two the first two albums diary of a madman and um the blizzard of us <laughs> yeah uh, those two albums are classics they are great but Bog at the Moon, just after Randy's death and his legacy and all this, Jakey Lee came in and he showed that he actually could match the songwriting from the Randy Rhodes period. And um, the production of this is, is very um, special in many ways. It's very 80s. I love, 80s. I love the 80s. Perhaps that's why. But again, yeah, it's, it, this is not an Ozzy Osbourne video. Just... Bag of the Moon, also perhaps my, my favorite Ozzy Osbourne tune, together with Perry Mason. Yeah, maybe. But I'll, I'll, I'll do a, an Ozzy Osbourne list one day, and we'll talk more about Ozzy. Now, this is the last album. I don't know how many albums I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, this will be album number 12. 
in my answer to Grillot's contest about great opening songs. This is the best album of all time. There will never be another album that can match this again or bet anything. This is the greatest album of all time and the not a, this is not a top list, but this would probably be my favorite all-time opening tune. Yeah, you guessed it. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, and Welcome to the Jungle. Not so much to say. Just freaking brilliant. This album, I can't say and express how much I love it. I have heard it hundreds of times, maybe a thousand times through my uh uh time <laughs> but i love this album this is this is great and i can hear it still to this day and i still love it and welcome to the jungle even though you have heard that uh the song for countless of times it still is just as great as almost as just as great as first time you heard it because first time was very special now this was a short little answer video and um a fun video just to to do about opening tunes i think one day i'll do my top list with opening tr tunes tracks from albums and it would probably look a little bit different but not much i can see some of these will this will definitely be on my number one nevertheless so thank you for watching this and uh, for grill up uh, great contest a uh, contest and uh, it's fun to participate and doing this, so um, now it will be fun to see who wins. So have a nice Saturday night, and I'll enjoy some beers now and listen to some of this stuff, I suppose. Rock and roll and heavy metal.